Welcome everybody, I'm so glad you're here. Today we're gonna to show you how to fix your input delay on PC. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not just gonna fix input delay, but this could help your FPS, give you more frames per second, and decrease your ping, all with one little program. And I'm gonna show you exactly how everything works and why you should do this to make your game better. Anyway, we're going to go through all this in this video. Make sure you go through and follow it. It's pretty simple. This is mainly for PC users. Other consoles and things can watch, but you're probably not going to find a whole lot of benefit. But we'll try to keep you entertained. And with that said, I'm also doing a giveaway. Every week I give away a skin and I do it random. So if you're interested, like, subscribe, throw your epic name down below. I'll randomly choose a comment. I'm probably going to do it on Tuesdays. So tomorrow at some point I will pick someone. So make sure you do that if you are interested. With that said, let's go ahead and jump in and show you exactly how you can increase your performance on your computer. We're going to go to this website and I will have the link down below. This program is called Timer Resolution. It does a few things. Mainly it goes through and fixes the input delay so it's less and also it can increase other things. So they do have a blog post here. Now Fortnite users are here. If you click on it and you go over it, I'll read it for you. It says, it seems that since Fortnite switched to Unreal Engine in season two, chapter two, some users have found that timer resolution improves the gameplay. Some users are claiming using timer resolution gives them more responsive gameplay, higher FPS, lower ping in Fortnite. I bet they spelled it wrong. <laughs> As always, the result you will get depends on your system that you're using, the drivers you have installed, and what other software you have running. Which definitely makes sense because different systems do react differently depending on how they're built. There's so many different parts out there. He does also say make sure you download and install the genuine and original timer resolution here. There are a lot of them out there from what I saw, but it looks like Lucas Hale is the one that makes it. So you're going to want to go into here and download it from here. So let me go ahead and set it up and show you exactly how it works. So once I click that, it takes me back here and you're just going to go through. It says buy and download. We don't want to buy it. We're going to look for the free version. Here's download timer resolution zip. So this is the free version. Here's the program. I'll just right click and extract here. There it is. It's a grainy looking clock. <laughs> That's the one. Once it's extracted, you could just delete the other one. You don't need that anymore. And then double click. Then go ahead and open this. And this is the current 0.997 milliseconds. That's how fast it reacts. So let's go ahead and choose maximum. And it takes it to 0.496. That is a big difference in the change there. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how that goes. You do want to leave this running as you're playing Fortnite. That way it stays that way because it does have to be opened each time. But it's a very small program and you won't notice anything with it. Just go ahead and minimize it and then open Fortnite and play. It's as easy as that. You should hit your buttons and they should react twice as fast for mine. That's basically twice as fast as it was. So it may take a moment to get used to because things are going to be faster. So you're used to a little more of a delay. So until you hit those charge shotgun shots and everything, it may take a moment. But this should really go through and fix and help you out. Give it a try. Let me know what you think down below. I'm going to go ahead and be running it as well. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more performance tips, I got a lot more. I got a lot more. So I think this week what we're going to do is focus on performance in Fortnite. Unless some crazy updates come out. And that way we can get your machine running great or console. I'm also planning on getting the new consoles when they come out. So I will have some nice tips and tricks that I already have planned for when they come out. Thanks so much. Here are some other videos I think you'll really enjoy. And I'll see you over there.